The three oscillators in this video are not the only Culpitz configurations. They happen to be the ones that I could get to work on my simulator. The Culpitz oscillator is distinguished by two capacitors in series with a tap between them and an inductor connected across them. That would be a general definition because there are other Culpitz oscillators which use different arrangements than the ones in this video. But it's the way to separate it from other oscillators that use an inductor such as the Clapp and Hartley configurations. The coil and capacitors develop a resonating action identical to a tank circuit. It creates and sustains the oscillations. As we can see, resonating action takes place in the tank circuit at the left. This first video clip shows a variation which includes an additional coil near the supply rail. The extra coil at the top has the effect of reinforcing oscillations. Its time constant is adjusted so that it alternately chokes and propels current flow. The coils generate counter EMF. This is depicted by the red and green lugs in the central area of the coil icon. The green means it is generating current, the red means it is impeding current. Take a look at current flow in the wires going off to the right from the top and bottom of the tank loop. The flow directions are pretty much the same. This is a Colpitts variation that does not have the coil at the top, nor does it have the capacitor near the collector of the transistor. As it turned out, the component values could be left the same in order for this second variation to work. The component values used in this video are not the only ones that you might use. They were the ones which worked with this simulator and showed up the action on screen. Again, watch the wires which go off to the right from the top and bottom of the tank loop. The direction of current and current reversals in those wires matches each other, but curiously enough, they are not following the current flow and reversals in the tank loop. This Colpitts variation was found at the Falstad.com website, an excellent site with a great variety of electronic circuits with simulations. Even though this one has fewer components than the Colpitts oscillators typically seen, nevertheless it takes a lot of adjustments to obtain the oscillations in the first place, to get the desired amplitude and the desired current flow and the desired voltage swings.
You may notice that my resistor values have been changed from the Falstad version. This is because they had to be adjusted until values were found that would lead to oscillations in my simulator. There is a certain amount of resonating action. However, it seems to occupy the inductor and one of the capacitors instead of the combined loop. Finally, we'll remove power in order to demonstrate that what looked like a tank loop was not necessarily resonating like a tank loop.